The greater community is the larger environment in which we have always lived. The greater community encompasses all life in this world. It encompasses all the worlds beyond our world and all life in those worlds. It stretches far out to the vast, distant reaches of the cosmos. It is the vast environment of creation. Within this greater community is a great network of relationship, of action, purposeful action, guided by the angelic assembly and by the Creator. It is within this greater community of all life that we find ourselves here on earth. The new message from God reveals the extent of this greater community, its purpose, its direction, its movement, and our place within it. It says that we are a young emerging race, growing out of the early stages of adolescence, conflict, tribalism, to form a community, a human community, in preparation to join a greater community. Stop for a moment and see that everything that has transpired in this world and in your life actually transpired in that greater community of all life. That is the true context for all that happens here. And just the revelation that it exists gives so much to our understanding of the purpose and the meaning of what we do, who we are, how we live right now. It gives so much. Everything is given a new meaning, a greater dimension. So the greater community is the true context for all that happens now. The new message from God reveals that the greater community is hardly out there beyond our reach, beyond our concern. In fact, no, it is here on our own soil, in our own skies, in our world today. The greater community is here. It is ready for us. It has prepared for us. It is concentrated. It knows why it's here. We have not prepared. We do not have our priorities and our focus straight and in order. In fact, look at the world today. It is in conflict, both at the level of nations, tribes, but also at the level of you and me. Where do we live in our own minds day by day, confused, preoccupied, in inner conflict about any number of aspects of daily life? And here we have this great universe at our doorstep, approaching us on its terms and not on ours, on its timeline and not on ours, coming, coming. And perhaps you felt all your life that something was coming, that we were not just dealing with a future of human concern and human interaction, more of the past, more of the same, nothing new under the sun. Perhaps you've heard that statement, nothing new under the sun, and knew that was not true. A new message from God has come into the world. A new message from God has been given because of this very predicament that we face. And it comes with everything we need as a human family to prepare for the coming of the greater community. I invite you to meet the man Marshall Vian Summers, who has endeavored over many decades and over a long and treacherous journey to bring this to you bearing this revelation as if over mountain passes in winter, in his hand, to you. If you are one who feels called to receive this, I invite you to meet the man Marshall Vian Summers in his life when he is here in the world with us. This encounter, this truly sacred rendezvous, could be one of the most important events in your life.